Hello students, this is Professor Del Russo and I want to give you a quick tutorial on how to use the discussion boards in Blackboard 9.1. First of all, if you used discussion boards in the past within Blackboard, it's not much different. But I'd like to update it just a bit. Of course, there's the discussion board tab here on the left. And if you click on that, you are taken to the discussion boards. And within the discussion board assignments, there are forums that the professor has created for you. So you will not be creating forums. What you'll be doing is discussing issues that are raised by the forums. I'm going to scroll down to a forum I created simply called Classic Card, just so you can get a sense of what a forum is like. It has a general topic, and within that general topic, you may narrow down the issues and talk about specific topics. Here the forum is called Classic Cars, and there'll be a description about what the forum is about. And in your assignments within the discussion boards, this area will describe what the discussion board is all about. And the kinds of issues that the professor wants you to discuss. But this is just a general introduction to the concept of discussion board. So here's the general topic, classic cars. You can put a picture there as I did and of course the description will be there. And This is a forum that the professors will create. And inside that forum you can create threads. And this is where the action is. This is where you students can be heard about a specific subject. So the first student who comes in here will see a blank screen, so that student needs to create the first thread. You click on that button right there and you'll have the dialog box for create a thread. This box here is very important where it says subject and it's a required field that has an orange star next to it. You need to be very specific, very specific when describing the subject matter. Don't just say, hey, I agree or yeah, that sounds good. Explain in this subject box what your post is all about. For example, here in the classic car thread, I'm going to enter the 1969 Camaro was the fastest. So I talk about a specific car, I say what my point's going to be, and then down here in the dialogue box, you can support your point or express yourself about what you wrote in the subject line. And I'm going to do that now. I'm going to write something about the 1969 Camaro. So once you do that, you simply go up to the right-hand corner and click on Submit. And now you have a post or a post that initiates a thread within the Classic Car Forum. Let's go back to the Classic Car Forum. You'll see now there's a single post there. Now, one of two things can happen. Someone can engage in an, a discussion about the 1969 Camaro being the fastest car, or under the general topic of classic cars, they can initiate a new thread. The first thing we're going to do is respond to the original post that the 69 Camaro was the fastest. So in order to do that you need to click on the hyperlink right here and now you can see the original post and hit the word reply. The original post is there as well as a dialog box and we're going to reply to that And I'm going to type in here, yes, I agree, it was one sweet car, my friend's sister had a dark green one. So I've responded to the post before about the 69 Chevy Camaro within the thread that the 1969 Camaro was the fastest. Simply hit submit and now you have a response to the 1969 Camaro was the fastest initial thread. Now when we go back to the forum itself on classic cars you'll see there's still a single thread but there are a total of two posts the initial one and the reply. 
we're going to create a second thread. A student might want to express themselves about a different issue. So simply go over to create thread, click on that. Make sure you give it a detailed subject line so that it makes sense and we can tell one posting from the other when we're looking at a very busy forum. I'm going to name this thread the 2010 New Camaros are great looking. So now we have a very specific subject. We're going to create the narrative for our post and we're going to put some text in there. You also can do a bunch of things here as well as put text. You can put audio files and video files. There are a number of icons here that you can play around with in order to add other content. If you want to change the font color, you can get a color board, hit apply for whatever reason. And of course, when you're done with your post, again, simply hit submit. And then that thread will be visible in the Classic Cars forum. The 2010 new Camaros are great looking. One other thing I'd like to show you is when you have a lot of postings and these discussion boards can get very busy towards the end of the semester or towards the end of the discussion board period, you want to be able to collect those postings and look at them in an organized way. So I'm going to take some postings from a few years ago. Uh, there appears to be nine postings here about the prevalence of child maltreatment, etc. I'm going to open that forum and we'll see a number of postings in there in the moment. Now if you want to gather them all up and look at them in a sequential order, just take your mouse, go over here to this box on the left, click on the top box which will select all of the posts highlighted in yellow and then click on the word collect. Up top here is the word collect and now all of the posts will have been gathered in order beginning with the January 28th posting, January 30th and so forth, February 2nd and you can read them in a more organized fashion and if you want to reply to a particular post simply go underneath it from here and click on reply and then a dialog box will open up and you can follow the same process and reply through that dialog box. So I hope this was a helpful introduction to using the discussion boards in Blackboard 9.